Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom Shrine Tutorials. Today we're climbing this ridge near the Great Hyrule Forest to reach the Kikakin Shrine. The Kikakin Shrine is going to have us use a Zonai device to solve some puzzles. As we enter the shrine, it will be in complete inky blackness. That's okay though, we are going to be given a tool to complete this puzzle. As you can see, we've got a flashlight and it's shining on this green door. So we need to go find the key for that. The rest of the shrine is a maze. There are several treasure chests in here as well, so I'll be showing you how to get all of those as well. First direction we're going to go is to the right. As you can see, there are spikes on some of the walls. We're going to take a left and we're going to go all the way to the end. Before turning left again. As you can see, some of these spike walls move, so we're going to wait for that spike wall to go all the way forward. And then as it recedes, we'll walk past. It looks like there's nothing here at the end, but actually if you turn to the left, there's another hallway. We'll go that way. As we approach this hallway, we see some lasers. We can just walk through those. Just be careful not to hit them. And then we'll turn left to find a treasure chest. This chest has an opal. Afterwards, we'll head back through the lasers. We're going to find another chest. We'll turn to the right and head back to that main hallway by going right again. That's the area we came in. We'll turn to the left and go back down this hallway, and we'll see to the right there's light coming from that square. The center block can be taken out, so we're going to use Ultra Hand. No, not camera. There we go, Ultra Hand. We're going to take that block out, and we're going to use it as a step ladder to get up there. Yeah, never mind. We'll just pull it out. That's easier, I guess. That one has an amber, which is great. I need that to upgrade some of my clothes. Uh, if you go into the room, uh, there's nothing in there in particular that you need. Uh, it's just a lit up small room. In case you thought there was something hidden in there. There isn't. All right, let's pick up our light and we'll keep traveling. This time we'll go to the right, down this side hallway we stared at before. Once again in this hallway, we've got uh, a moving spike block. You just run past it. Make sure you're out of the way so you don't get hit by it later. You can open this treasure chest. This treasure chest has a luminous stone, so another thing that lights up in the dark. And then we can go through this set of spikes. Still one more part we haven't explored yet. We're going to backtrack to where we found the laser. So if we turn to the right, then turn to the right again. The block's moving. Instead of going to the left like we did before, we're going to turn to the right. And we're going to see that there's a stone on the ground that is removable. So we'll set our light down. We'll use Alter Hand to lift that block up. There's another treasure chest in there. This treasure chest has the key. Once you have the key, you can return to the door and the shrine's all done. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at your next shrine.